coming in, I'm coming in. Coming in, get off! Get off! Disgusting. I'm coming in. Right. Oh, I'm sitting down. I'm putting on my scarf. How's everyone today? Oh, just a minute. I forgot my plant pot. Would you like me to talk to you like this? Well, I'm not sure. But I thought that if I... Oh, I got it all up my nose. This is me no mask. What do you think? What do you think? It's got holes in it for oxygen. Oh, I feel sick. Oh, I tell you, what's the matter with them? How can they wear these stupid things on their mouths like plant pots? Anyway, it's Boba Berta here, and I'm sorry I haven't been in touch with you all week. I've been taking care of the granddaughter. Oh, my God, the poor thing, the poor thing. She's been breaking all over the place. I don't know what to do about her. I tell you, she thinks she's been McAltered. McAltered, for God's sake. What the hell does that mean? Now they're making me wear me bonnet and this scarf and it's boiling hot in here, this smelly old shed. And there's no one here. There's no one here, is there? No one here at all. Who am I talking to? There, 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 there's a miracle grow. There's an old tent. Can you see him hanging the right way up? No, he's not. He's, yes, he is. So he's all right. What was I talking about? Oh, the McAltered. She's been McAltered, she says. McAltered. What the hell does that mean? What the feck does that mean, as me father Ted used to say? Me beautiful Ted. Oh, I'll tell you another day, I'll tell you. I'm going to keep you in suspense about that one. Me and father Ted. Now, someone insulted me the other day. She said, I don't get to the point quick enough. Well, I'm sorry about that, but I'm 110 years old. I mean, this smelly old shed because they took away me caravan. Oh, I tell you, and they're making me sit in here with a scarf in this boiling hot weather. And don't go complaining to the granddaughter, and definitely don't go complaining to that Zark Muckerberg. Because this goes on the face tube. Zark Muckerberg should be ashamed of himself. Everybody together. Zark Muckerberg should be ashamed of himself. But the, the little granddaughter, yeah, she was in prison for 70 days. And I'm repeating myself now. Anyway, what was I talking about? So got together with his mammy and his aunt and his uncles. We all sat down together and tried to figure out what are we going to do with Zark Muckerberg? Ah. Oh. Terrible, terrible young man. Terrible young man, I tell you. She said she's, she's going to take his puddings away from him. He's not allowed to watch TV, but that's not a bad thing, is it? <laughs> that's not a punishment. What does he want to be sitting there watching all those lunatics telling you to go out and wear masks and plant pots and God knows what else over your face is latex. Latex over your face. Oh, I don't like that at all. It's a bit strange, isn't it? A bit kinky. Latex over your face. Oh, terrible, terrible. Anyway, where was I? I was talking about the, 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 the granddaughter. Poor thing. Poor thing. Poor thing. She thinks she's been McAltered. What the hell does that mean? She's got the same face, the same arms, the same legs. How did they alter her? I'm trying to find what she means. I'm trying to figure out, has she got um, a different colour eyes, nose, the same brown eyes, the same as me? Um, I haven't got brown eyes, I've kind of got little specks of something in the grey. Oh, come on, Bob, I focus. Who am I talking to? Can you please come on here and send me a message and tell me who am I talking to? Am I talking to him? Because he doesn't answer back. Am I talking to the door over there? Oh, there's a whole lot of little noon tomato plants growing in there. They're not answering me. Hello? Am I talking to you? As you know, they never answer. They answer an hour later. You'll see at the end of the programme. Anyway, I can't make this programme too long because it's too hot in this smelly old shed. So where was I? Yeah, she said she was McAltered. McAltered. So... Same to me. She looks the same to me. Except she sometimes she wears a wig. 
You know, I haven't got me nice red hair on today. I'm sorry, but it's too hot to wear me red hair today. So I'm keeping me on. And me bonnet. I don't really like this bonnet. I used to have another bonnet. Do you remember my lovely red bonnet? When I told you about the garlic and the salt and the umbrella and then Bubba Frankie came to visit. Oh, I miss Bubba Frankie. Why does he, she know, he, she, she, ooh. Nearly gave it away there. It's a bit like Mrs. Brown. Not really a woman, that Mrs. Brown. That's a man. And you all told that Bubba Frankie was a woman. It's a man with a wig. I am a woman. I'm Bubba Berta and I'm a woman and I'm sitting here and I'm telling you I'm worried sick about the granddaughter. Don't know what to do about her. She keeps coming up with all these new things that she's finding out. She's doing these interviews all the time and crying her eyes out. She's lonely. I don't know what to do with her half the time. I take her, we take her to the allotment and she sits there and she looks at the plants and she goes... Oh, we're going to have to get the gill baits here because the spinach is over pollinating. There's loads and loads of spinach everywhere growing together like this huge mass of spinach. We need to get that gill baits here so he can cull the spinach. Do you know what I mean? That's what she says. What's she talking about? What is she talking about? You know this gill baits thing they keep talking about? I keep looking at this Gilbates thing and then I look at this thing that's sitting beside him and I'm thinking, oh, if I'm not wrong, that, that, that one looks a bit, the one with the long hair, that's not a woman. That's not a woman. That's like Mrs. Brown's boys. That's like Frankie, Bubba Frankie with the wig. That's not a woman. Oh, come on. You're going to tell me that's a woman? That's not a woman. I'm a woman. I'm a real woman. I'm not going to show you because it's... Don't say that. I'm not going to tell you about my young days when I, I travelled across Paris with Edith Piaf. Edith Piaf. That's how she likes to be called. Edith Piaf. Oh, I didn't do the opening. I never do the opening. Duh. Oh, what? You're so rude. You're disgusting. I wasn't talking about things like that. Oh, this is terrible. The granddaughter will have me banned for moving on TV. What the things that Edith Piaf got on to. This is what I didn't do. Old wife tears of the week. There you go. That's the opening of me show. All right, so we're back to the beginning again. Let's go. Hello there. My name is Boba Berta. That was the beginning in the middle. And anyway, I haven't got a clue what to talk to you about, apart from the fact that I said to you, the, the, the granddaughter said, that the plants, are you listening, grandson-in-law? Grandson-in-law over there, he only does is lie in the sun and, and, and do nothing. Look at him, lying there, and he does this to me. You saw at the beginning, it's so rude. Did you hear what she's saying? She's saying that Gil Bates needs to come here and he needs to call the spinach. Because the spinach is populating too much in the garden, in the new allotment. He'll show you later. Populating everywhere. Spinach, too much spinach. Too much, too much. So we need to depollinate. Do you know what I mean? Like that Gil Bates thing. That Gil Bates thing. Oh, I tell you what. He, he's like the little kid in school, you know, the little one, the annoying little one with the glasses, the one they call the nerd. The little nerdy one sitting there and, 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 and blowing everyone up in the classroom. Can you imagine being in a classroom with that thing? He, he, he probably blew, the, you know, when you do your scientific evidence. Scientific evidence? Why are you talking about Bubba Berta? Who am I talking to? I'm getting a bit worried about this. There's no one to talk to. There's a rug. There's a glove. Here's another glove. I'm showing you. He's got a book here. This is what he does. Hypnotherapy scripts. Now, shall we have a look at the book? Now, the granddaughter believes that if we close our eyes and let the book open, it's going to open on the right place. For God's sake. Hypnotherapy scripts letting go, a metaphor script for unresolved grief and bereavement. Right, let's see now. Mr. 
Mold McDonald. That one, that one that has the electrocution bed. Sometimes he, he used to do these wonderful trance things where he'd help you with the music and the sound and the light. He doesn't do it anymore. He doesn't do it anymore. So I'm sure he'd understand this. We do understand this, Paul MacDonald. Building a house. How can you close your eyes and build a house? This is ridiculous. Hypnotherapy scripts for building a house. I don't understand it. Hey, grandson-in-law, how do you build a house when you're closing your eyes and you're in a trance and asleep? He's going like that to me or something else. It could be very relaxing to watch someone working. Well, well, you, you know, hypnotherapy scripts for building a house. Oh, I tell you, how can you build a, oh, how can you build a house when you're like this? Um, is this, this hypnotherapy thing, not mentioning the meditation she tried to put me on. This meditation, oh, she never takes it, but anyway, that's another one. I'm not going to go into it. Anyway, this Paul MacDonald used to do these amazing things, trance things with his electrocution bed. He won't let her go in the electrocution bed. So she's getting unhappy now. She's getting unhappy. She likes being electrocuted on the electrocution bed. It makes her feel good. And I don't know, he won't let her do it anymore. He never calls her. He never keeps in touch with her. And I'm, I'm probably going to send this to you, Paul MacDonald. I'm going to do talk to your mammy. I'll talk to your mammy the same way as I'm talking to Zock Muckerberg's mammy. Oh, what a terrible, terrible person, that Zock Muckerberg. Terrible. So anyway, what were we saying about Zog Muckerberg? Focus, Baba Bertha. I haven't done a programme for so long. The last one I did with you was about the plant pot masks. And I know you thought it was funny. And it was, it was funny. Because the world is getting so terrible. I tell you, I was with the granddaughter. She took me down to the village. Now, how could she take me down to the village? I am the granddaughter. You, you, you know, some people are getting in touch with me. They think I'm a different person to the granddaughter. I mean, look at the glasses. Look very, very clearly at the glasses and the frames. Right? Um, what else? Can you look at the hands? You know, when you do those things where you're testing to see whether that disgusting Bo Dryden, you know the one that's trying to run against that, 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 that President Trump that looks like the cat, the ginger one, but he's got the white bits. Don't be so rude. Why are you so rude about President Trump's white bits? Oh, I told you, check with Melania. It's not my problem. So rude. Anyway, what's I talking about? I'm all over the place. I don't remember. I, 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 oh, the Bo, Bo Jida, that was it. They're always checking to see his ears because he hasn't got the same ears as the same one as the one that was before that they used to go on there and uh, with his hairy legs and all. Oh, terrible, terrible, disgusting, disgusting. He needs to shave them. Why is he not shaving his hairy legs, that Bo Jida? Anyway, there's another one I'm going to talk to his mommy about. Zark Muckerberg. Paul MacDonald and Bo Jiden, the three of them. They need to get, I need to get their mammies together. We need to have a conference of Bob and Bertha and their mammies and tell them to behave themselves. Terrible, terrible, terrible. No ice cream for dinner, none. Not even dairy free, Paul MacDonald. Nothing, nothing. You're not getting any of those ice creams. I know the ice creams you like, I saw. I saw, I saw someone went and bought them for you. I think you got through about four of them. You're telling everyone you're on a fast. <laughs> you're not on a fast. You're on an ice cream fast. That's what you're on. Ice cream with lots of almond nuts inside them. Yeah, dairy free or not. Anyway, you're not the center of the universe. I don't know why you came into this conversation. I don't know, maybe I, I really don't. Oh, it's that Darcy of yours. It's Darcy, that's why you came into the conversation. 
Because you got her, haven't you? Her with the beard, the Darcy, that looks a bit like a combination between... Do you remember Kitty Everett? It's all done and the best possible taste. Do you remember that? Terrible. Trying to compete with Boba Berti, that Darcy of yours. And Lily Savage. Oh, my God. A combination between Lily Savage and and, and, and Dolly po and Polly Darton. You know with the big, you know what? I'm a bit lost. <laughs> Tell me about it. Anyway, we're talking about the Bo Jiden, the one that needs to shave his legs. And, and, and that he... It's, it, it's to do with the, 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 the granddaughter, Tiki, that she's been McAltered. She, she's not a clone, is she? I mean, I don't know anymore. She goes and gets electrocuted. I don't think my beautiful Lauren would go get electrocuted and come back happy. Maybe she's a clone. Do you know, there's no Boba Berta clones yet. I wouldn't let them. There's no Boba Berta clones, I tell you that. They can give me a billion pounds and I will not. Maybe there's a Paul MacDonald clone. Oh, that would make sense. That would make a lot of sense, wouldn't it? Because then you could understand how he's different in different times and different spaces. And Oh, that's interesting. Maybe there's a son and a grandson and law clone. That would make sense because sometimes he, he's very, he does this nonsense thing about building a house while you're asleep. This hypnotherapy thing. And then other times he goes there, Boba Berta. That's not very nice. Maybe we're all clones walking around. That would explain a lot. That would explain a lot now, Boba Berta, wouldn't it? That would explain a lot. <gasps> Who am I talking to? I'm talking to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I show ya. Nothing. Nothing. Pieces of nothing. That is going to be a pla apparently it's going to be a tomato plant. Ooh, looks like something's growing in there. I don't know what's growing in this shed. I tell you, I don't want to know. They never answer, not till the end of the programme. So we were talking about the granddaughter thought she was being McAltered. I, and as I said, she could be a clone for all I know. I don't know. But if she was a clone, then what am I? Am I her clone? Oh, I'm so confused. Oh, I was so confused. I was walking down. Anyway, I said, telling you, I was in the high street with the... I couldn't have been there with the granddaughter, Baba Berta. That doesn't make sense unless she's a clone or I'm a clone. How could we be together walking down the high street? Can you please send a message to movingontv1 at gmail.com and explain to me? Explain to me how I could have been walking down the high street with the granddaughter if she is me and I am her. <laughs> then either she's a clone or I'm a clone. Oh my god, I'm getting really scared now. I might be a clone. <gasps> What's a clone? Well, it doesn't make any sense, nothing. Because there was this beautiful, beautiful girl. And she was wearing latex and she wasn't wearing a plant pot. She was wearing something else. And it was like she was going diving. She had the whole paraphernalia on. Oh, that's a big word. Baba Berta? Paraphernalia? What, what does that mean? I didn't finish school. I ran off with Father Ted, all right? I didn't finish school. I ran off with Father Ted. Oh, we had a good time. I was going to tell you about Piaf. I was going to tell you about my beautiful friend, Edith. Oh, Edith Piaf. Now, she knew how to live. I tell you, I think she should come on Moving On TV. What do you think? Do you think you'd enjoy the Ed Piaf show? Oh, I think you'd enjoy the Ed Piaf show. I know, especially that Paul McDonald. He likes Ed Piaf. And so does uh, his partner, Cecil. She loves Ed Piaf. She loves her because she's French. She's French. Oh, I can't speak French. Only Ed Piaf can speak French. But then the granddaughter went on the stage. You know where this is going playing Edith Piaf and the granddaughter is me and me is Piaf and I am the granddaughter so we must be clones oh my god I must be a clone oh I don't know I don't feel like a clone I've got I don't feel like a clone what's a clone because I keep thinking, seeing these people telling me that everybody's a clone that they've got Donald Trump clones 
So, so he hasn't got as much as the ginger or white bits, so he's got more white bits and less ginger bits. It's that pussycat, that ginger pussycat, a clone then of that ginger ginger piece. I tell you, I don't know anymore. I'm living in a mad world. The world has gone mad, mad, mad everywhere. What was I trying to tell you? I don't know. Anyway, I'm trying my best here. Some people think that I'm either a real person or that I'm a, I think I'm a clone now because it does not make any sense that I could be the Piaf and I could be Maria Callas and I could be the granddaughter because if I'm not the granddaughter oh I don't know I'm getting confused getting confused but Baba Berta am I even here this thing she studies calls a course in miracles I tell you a course in miracles what the hell is that that Course in Miracles says that there's nothing. There's nothing. So that I'm nothing. This is nothing. The whole shed is nothing. But how could that? How could that be? I mean, do you think it's nothing? Do you think Baba Berta is nothing? I'm very confused the way I'm living. I'm in this smelly old shed, talking to nothing, nothing, nothing. Looking at all those extra pollinators plants that we're all thrown in together and they're all growing like this a huge mass of spinach that the Gil Bates wants to depollinate and I'm thinking about talking to his mummy as well his mummy didn't have one I think he just sprouted behind some pollinated spinach maybe or maybe the devil brought him I tell you the devil the devil's in our world the devil the devil so anyway, I hope you're going to laugh at this because it's not funny at all. I'm not funny today. I think I'm funny, but I'm confused funny. But I'm doing this because I'm trying to, I'm trying to make, I'm 110 years old and I can't understand what's going on. I'll have to call my friend Eddie Piaf. She's not as old as me. She's 100 and... Let me think, let me think. Well, 2015, she, 2015, I think, she did the Battle of Waterloo in the Waterloo Theatre. And that was 100 years to it, a Piaffa. So she must be 105 now. She's 105. She's still five years younger than me then. Five years, I tell you. The granddaughter's got her birthday coming up. Now, don't you forget her birthday. She works 20... 20, 30 hours a day, 30 hours day and night, day and night, 30 hours day and night for you, sometimes 40 hours a day, 40 hours a day, I'll tell you, you know we only have 24, but somehow she's found 40 hours to work for you lot, and you better send us some nice messages on our birthday, her birthday, the 9th of August, she's a Leo, She's a Leo like me. I was also born on the 9th of August. Ooh, how could... I'm telling you, I'm getting more and more confused. I think I am the granddaughter. Oh, then I think I am a clone. Anyway, so it, her birthday. Don't you forget her birthday. She works day and night to help those wee little children. The wee little children. Terrible, terrible things happening to wee little children. Don't make me talk about that because I'll start to cry. So anyway, I'm going to finish this program soon because I think it was just rubbish, total rubbish. But that's not a very nice thing to say about me work. It's not me work. What are you talking about, Baba Berta? You sit in a smelly old shed and you talk about what's going on in your head. Who am I talking to? Who am I talking to? There's no one here, I promise you. I promise you, there's a blanket, there's some seeds in there, there's a bit of polythene they put over there so it doesn't rain on top of me. But then we did the umbrella. You've got to go and watch the umbrella and why you must never, never open an umbrella inside the house. So, to cut a long story short, I, I was talking about the, the fact that she was uh, McAltered and I think that's what she means is that when she goes to have her electrocution bed she sends a different Lauren. It must be. It must be a clone. 
She must have all these little clones because one of the clones, I see them crying their eyes out all the time, crying their eyes out. The other clone, I see them sitting there doing these interviews with amazing people from all over the world and she's got so much wisdom. Didn't get it from me. She that is very rude. Don't you think Baba Berta is wise then? I'll tell you something. I know a lot more than you do. Hmm. If you're sitting there judging me. Hmm. Anyway, I've got a challenge for Darcy. Where are you? You disappeared. You came on board for about a day and it was funny. I was looking forward to bringing you on the Baba Berta show so we could have a nice little Baba Berta chat. Do you know what I mean? Like Frankie. Like Bubba Frankie, I don't have anyone here like the granddaughter. Apart from my 4,000 friends, when we go to sit outside the police station and have a, oh, you're a lovely lad joint, there's nothing. But I tell you what, I don't know what I tell you. The other thing I'm not happy about is me cause, BLM, Bubba's Lives Matters. Do you not know that Bubba's Lives Matters? Yes, Bubba's Lives Matters. Just the same as everyone else. Just because I'm 110, I don't fit this beautiful young things that you like to look at on your talk tick, talk tick or whatever, or your, 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 your Twitter gran and, and, and your tweety, tweet, tweet, tweet thing. I, 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 when you take pictures, I don't understand. I'm 110 years old, so I don't fit. So Bubba Life Matters, all right? I'm 110 years old and I'm white. I'm not what the other BLM means. I'm white, well, I'm sort of white because I've got bits of brown and bits of all sorts of blue and green in me hair. And I'm, I'm, I, you know, I'm like that rug. I'm like that, this, 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 I'm everything. Well, I must be everything because if I'm cloned, there must be lots of me all over the place. But Bubba Life Matters, I wanted to talk to you about this thing called racism. Racism, I mean, all us Bubbas, that's more important than racism. Bubba's Life Matters, we matter. And we're all different colours and different religions and different shapes and sizes and different colours hair and different brains and different IQs and different, 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 different ways of thinking and stinking. Oh, I haven't had a bath now. I can't bear to have a bath. I tell you why I can't have, I can't have a bath. I can't have a bath. Oh, it's, it's, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. I can't have a bath. And that's another story. And it's not something to laugh at, I tell you. The reason I can't have a bath is because every time those little ones, um, Dermot and O'Leary and... Um, and, 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 and little Francis and little Lauren and, and, and little um, Magenta and, 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 and little James and, 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 and all the, the, the Madonna and all the little ones that are floating around. They keep watching these superstars having a bath. They're all diving deep into the bath and it looks like they're drowning for some reason. And Oh, I don't like that. I won't get in the bath now. I won't get in the bath. No, no. I don't like it anymore. Doesn't feel right. Doesn't feel right. Feels like they're going to sell me to the, to, to, to the devil if I get in the bath. Because that's what they seem to do. You know, Baba Berta sometimes talks about the things that nobody else talks about. So that's what they seem to do to the little children. Terrible things. And this, I'm trying to tell you this. So you go out and you finish it, you know. I'm talking about this. So I don't like having baths anymore. And, uh, you know, we, uh, Edith, she didn't have a bath. She never, she never had a bath. She used to, she used to walk into the theatre and the whole theatre went, <sighs> that's why they loved her. Because they all passed out the minute she came on from the smell. Doesn't make any sense that, does it? They passed out and went to sleep. And they went with her. That's it, they went to journeys with her. That was it, that's why they all loved her. Because they passed out and they went to another world. But the reason they all passed out and went into a dreamlike state was because she was so smelly. 
And if you don't believe me, check Google, Gago, Internet, Instagram, whatever. It tells you about Piaf. She never had a bath. I know, because I was around her. Oh my gosh. She didn't like having a bath. Didn't like having a bath. She liked to walk around natural, all earthy. Anyway, I think this is getting a bit boring and a bit stupid even. It's not funny anymore. The bit about the racism, the Baba Lives Matter, that's what you have to go on the streets now with your big signs, BLM, Baba Lives Matters. Ooh, I'm getting very animated here. Very young and I'm, ooh, how could I do this? I'm 110 years old. Where am I getting my energy from? But that's where the confusion comes in because I, I might be the granddaughter. And if I'm the granddaughter, then I'm not really 110 years old. Some people said I look about 80 with me bonnet. Some people said I look about 40 with me bonnet. I'm getting confused now. I don't know. I tell you. So, one thing I tell you, I'd never watch the news. Never, never, never. Because it, me friend Eileen, she's, she's a little bit, she's a lot younger than me, but no, she's not. She's 120, bless her. The granddaughter, the granddaughter met her when she broke her leg. Let me ask you something. If the granddaughter broke her leg, and I have this leg that doesn't work properly, and exactly the same side, the same side, the same position, the same l shorter leg, does that mean that I am the granddaughter? I think I'll leave you with that question because I can't really think about what else I'm going to talk about. So we covered Zark Muckerberg and the fact that he's not getting any ice cream. He's not allowed to watch TV, but we said that's a good thing. So he's not allowed to watch moving on TV. That's not a good thing. That's a big punishment for him. He's not allowed to go and play with his friends and his mates. He's not allowed out. He's grounded because I got his mammy and his grandmother. We all got together and we said, disgusting what he's doing. Zark Muckerberg, you should be ashamed of yourself. Never mentioned that Gil Bates thing. His grandmummy, oh, she, oh, she's banned him from eating the apple. This is his favourite food. Crumbles! Apple crumbles! He's not allowed to eat apple crumbles ever again! That kill beats! What a punishment! I tell you, terrible punishment. He deserves it. I tell you, you don't want Baba Berta angry with you, you hear me? Because Baba Berta is coming after you. And she's got BLM, Baba Lives Matters. I must keep my hands to myself here. Because then you think I'm young. I'm not young. I'm 110 years old. And I'm tired. And I, I, I'm just trying to do my best today. So if this is not funny and not interesting, then we'll pick on someone else. Who shall we pick on? Let's have a look. One of our other friends. One of our other friends. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not even going to mention the other granddaughter. Iris. She's named after a beautiful flower. She doesn't keep in touch with the, the granddaughter at all. She broke her heart, she did. And her three, nothing, nothing. The only time that they get back to the granddaughter is to say, don't tag me. What the hell does tagging mean? I mean, are they all playing around, jumping around, doing this game? Will you run around together and they tag you? And as far as I know, they're not meeting up, so I'm confused. I'm terribly confused. So I'm going to finish there, and I'm going to say to you, what am I going to say to you? That I've enjoyed your company today, and if you have to wear a mask, make sure you wear a plant pot, because it's got lots of, as you can see, lots of oxygen coming through it. And the messages are clear going out. We said to Mark Zuckerberg, oh, who's he? I always mix me words up. Instead of Zark, I call him Mark. Zark Muckerberg. The message has gone out clear to Zark Muckerberg that we sat down together. Your granny, your great granny, your great 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 granny. She's about 250 now, yes. And we came up with these rules and regulations, all right? A bit like what the granddaughter was put on when she went to the therapeutic community. Stop, Tinga, listen. 
Stop thinking, listen, a big contract for you before you ban people, before you cut them up. Stop. You need to stop to think and to listen before you get taken off your puddings and, and, and you're not allowed to play with your friends anymore. No Lego. Right? And all your computers have been taken away from you, Gil Bates. We've locked them all up. We've disconnected all your computers, Gil Bates. For God's sake. Go to bed. Go to bed. Have a, have a sleep and give us all a break. That's it. That's all I wanted to say today. So. You can like me or you can hate me. You can subscribe, you can like, you can do whatever you want. Sometimes, sometimes I'm, I'm just a silly old 110 year old woman sitting here in a shed trying to figure life out and I don't know what to say anymore. I don't know what to figure out. I thought this would be over by now, but they keep call it the Great Awakening. They call it the Great Awakening. So you got all these people, you know, you know in that um, piece of music where you see all the flowers and all in their little buds and they start to open up, open up, open up! For God's sake, will you open up and wake up? Two, like those little flowers, Woo, little flowers. Open up, open up, open up. Right? And BLM Bubble Life Matters. It's gone out loud and clear to you today that Bubba Lights matters. And, and it doesn't matter if you're a Bubba. What's a Bubba? A Bubba is a, 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 a grandmother, a grandmother, a, a Yiddish, a Jewish, Russian, Italian, French, uh, a, a Czechoslovakian, Polish, uh, American. Um, what is it I say? Every single color alien, green, whoever, is a Bubba, a grandmother. A grandmother. We're all grandmothers. We're all bubbas. You know, bubba, bubba, bubba. It's a beautiful name. And and bubba life matters. And you make sure that your life matters because it doesn't matter who you are or what you are. All right. And even if you're not a bubba, even if you're just um, a, a Joe or a James or a Paul or a David or whoever, you still matter. Even if you're a clone, you matter. All right. Even if you're a clone, you matter. Everything matters. Even this blanket matters and these butterflies matter. Look at the colours. Everything matters. I don't know why, but I'm saying it. Everything. Matter matters. I know it sounds like the 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 matter 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 matter. You remember that from from what's the name of that Gilberton that Silberton Gullivan. Silberton Gullivan, those two musicians. Gilbert and Sullivan, Bobba Berta. Gilbert and Sullivan. Who am I talking to? Oh, this is getting so boring. Gilbert and Sullivan, I'm being told. Gilbert and Sullivan. You know the, the, the matter song? It matter, 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 With Mad Margaret. Do you remember Mad Margaret with the big red hair? That was the granddaughter. Or was it me? Oh, was it in the PF? Oh, was it Maria Callas? Ah! Thank you for watching the Boba Berta show. Please sign up to movingontv1 at gmail.com. And if there's anything you want me to put to write on the Boba Berta show, then please go on the face tube or the Twitter tube or the face thing. I'm not sure. And, 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 and check out Boba Berta. B-O-B-B-A-B-E-R-T-H-A. -B -B -E it's in front of me here. I'm reading it because I can't spell very well. As you know, you watch me editing. Oh, oh I'm terribly sorry about that. B-E-R-T-H-A. I got twirled all over the place and exported and everything. B-E-R-T-H-A. Boba Berta. Page. BLM, Bubba Life Matters. And if you're stupid enough to go to look, you're not going to find it. Because it's nowhere. There is no page. I tell you, every program. Why are you going looking for the Bubba Berta page on all of these media... Media so, social things? None. None at all. No clones of Bubba Berta. Even put a page. Because I know people do cloning. On that face tube. Zark Muckerberg. It's his fault. 
everything is his fault. Zark Muckerberg and Gil Bates and, and the grand son-in-law and Paul MacDonald with his Darcy. Where's that gone? Terrible. Why that Darcy? I'm waiting to see that Darcy. I've got a lot to say to that Darcy. I want that Darcy on the Bubba Berta show, don't we? We do. Darcy, how dare she come on board and try to steal me act? <gasps> terrible, terrible. Now, that Darcy is not a woman. It's got a beard. Do you see a beard? I don't have a beard. I have me bits, and I'm proud of them. I've always been proud of being a woman. I was supposed to finish there, I'm sorry. But before I go, I've always been proud of being a woman and so was Father Ted proud of me being a woman. But that's another story. And so was Emad. Emad. My, my beautiful, my beautiful Arab lover. Ah, that's another story as well. Oh, is that the granddaughter's lover? I tell you. Just please, please write to me at movingontv1 at gmail.com and tell me, am I Baba Berta? Am I the granddaughter? Am I Edith Piaf? Am I... Uh, what am I? I don't know anymore. Am I a clone like that Bo Jiden? Oh, there's people out there, they're watching me now. I better go because they're watching me. So I've got to go. The grandson-in-law is going to come in here and he's going to shove me out of this stupid old shed and tell me to be quiet. All right, so I better go now and be very nice and being very polite to most of you. I love you. Well, I don't really love you. How can I love you? I don't even know you are. I'm just talking to this stupid camera. I don't love you, camera. I don't. Right? Whatever that is. I'm going to go on the, the face tube now and maybe meet you again because you you all i know you missed me you all missed me this week didn't you all you got was the the, the the granddaughter on there showing you some real real stuff she's not afraid she says i'm brave of her. i'm brave of her i can't even talk anymore i'm proud of her and don't forget her birthday i'm telling you today is grand what's the date today what's the date the 22nd of july okay all right you got two weeks to prepare for the 9th of August, right? Two weeks to prepare for her birthday and you better be nice to her. You better invite her around. You better be kind to her. She deserves all your love. Oh God, there's Hannah Mae Bindler coming in again. You see, I don't know who I am. Another one, Hannah Mae Bindler. Hannah Mae Bindler from a couple of white chicks sitting around talking. Anyway, I'm so sorry I've got to go because the people here now. And um, I've got to keep it down a little bit and be a little bit, you know, balanced. Like the grand, great grand, the, 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 what is he? Grandson-in-law, like the Libran. Like she explains to you on those cards she does. I do those cards. All I see is two people, two scales. I see these, these, these milk, milk ladies holding two, 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 two pails of, of, of milk. That's it. Like this. Or the scales that before we put on all the ingredients that go into the apple crumble that Gil Bates is not having anymore because his grandmammy decided that with me. That's a terrible, terrible punishment for Gil Bates. Goodbye to everyone. Goodbye. Where we go one, we go all. Again, I haven't got a clue. We did that one before. And uh, I do not consent. I don't know what I'm not consenting to because I do not consent to sit in the smelly old shed when I don't have any choice, it seems, with a scarf on on a boiling hot sunny day because it's so hot and I'm sweating me whatever. I can sweat <laughs> like that Prince Andrew liar. He doesn't sweat. <laughs> he sweats all right. We all sweat, liar. Anyway, that's a program, another program, I think, isn't it? Another program. So what was I saying? Oh, yes. I do not consent and I ain't having it. But I haven't had it for about 50 years now. Nothing. None. Nothing. I'm sorry about that, but I had to say it. 50, 50 years plus another 50. Except Father Ted. And they mad my beautiful lovers. My lovely, lovely lovers. That's it. I haven't had it at all. Not for 100 years. Not for, no, that's bad, no, of course not, not another 100 years, that, 90 years, not for 90 years I haven't had it, I'll have to cut that, 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 just, 
was wrong. And maybe I'm 120 then. Because if I'm 120, then that, that, that remark makes, is going to stay. If Yes, I'm going to be... I'm going to cut that remark out, definitely. Not appropriate. Well, I haven't had any ice cream I'm talking about. I haven't had any ice cream. I haven't had any apple crumble. I haven't had any roast dinners. They don't look after me because I'm probably just a figment of my own imagination. Goodbye. Now I can put this on because your filthy minds are filthy, filthy, filthy. And, and, and I couldn't have put it on when I'm trying to explain to you that I haven't had any ice cream with um, Father Ted or I haven't had any ice cream or I haven't had any apple crumble, I haven't had any roast dinners, I haven't had any um, fun singing, dancing, having fun, meditating with my lovely Ahmad, my lovely Arab lover. What did you think I was talking about? You're disgusting, disgusting and I hate you all. Goodbye.